What, you might ask, is a fiend folio? And even more importantly, what is Mordenkainen's Fiendish Folio Volume 1? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Welcome to the DM Daily Vlog. I'm Gregory. This is 1 in 20 D&D. And today we are talking about both the original Fiend Folio as well as the newly released Mordenkainen's Fiendish Folio Volume 1, Monsters Malevolent and Benign. So let's start off with the original. Back in 1979, TSR released this beauty. It was the Fiend Folio, and it introduced us to creatures like the Gith, the Gith Zerai and the Gith Yankee, as well as all kinds of other interesting, wonderful, and weird monsters, aberrations, and all sorts of other goodies that we could use in our advanced Dungeons & Dragons games. It was a masterpiece of a book because, number one, the art was just so iconic and wonderful. Again, that cover art, just it, it's one of those things that once you see a gif, you kind of will never forget that image. It had this like sort of heavy metal vibe of that that was typical of the late 70s and early 80s and it just captured the imagination of of my generation I would say of Dungeons and Dragons players. We all loved that artwork and more importantly it was an expansion. It was another a resource for DMs to draw from to add to their sort of repertoire of baddies they could throw at us in the game. Because prior to that you had, you know, the Monster Manual and then there was also, a, at one point we also had the Monster Manual too. But the Feed Folio sort of stands on its own because it was just so weird. There were some really strange and fun monsters in that book. So I am thrilled that I found out today, again, thanks to comicbooks.com, I'm starting to like love this website, at least for the little clips of news articles that I find and I've shared with you previously. I'll link that one that I'm reading about today for you all to check out yourself. Today on DMs Guild, they released Mordenkainen's Fiendish Folio Volume 1, Monsters Malevolent malevolent and benign. I almost made it through the whole title. It's a long one and it's a little bit of a tongue twister. This is the modern version. It's only 10 bucks. It's $9.99 on DMs Guild. And more importantly, 70% of the proceeds from that book or that PDF, I should say, I suppose, are gonna go to Extra Life, which is a really cool charity, if you don't already know about it, that is, is connected with children's hospitals all over. So I just think it's, number one, the fact that Wizards of the Coast is donating 70% of the proceeds from this, this sale of this is pretty awesome, and that's a pretty big chunk of the sale. And not only that, I mean, 10 bucks for a source book it's pretty solid and uh, they have there's going to be a combination of some very base like fey and like some new sort of like goblinoids and that kind of stuff from what i was reading so just sort of like some low level uh filler creatures if you will things to just like flesh out your world with however they have one big bad in there that you probably don't want to mess with and here's why if you fight the creature that they've put in there, like the big bad creature that they've put in this, this module, you if you die, if you get reduced to zero by this creature, not only does it kill you instantly, you turn to ash, and the only way your character can be brought back is with a wish spell. So yeah, that's one of those creatures that you really don't want to mess with unless you know what you're getting into. So I'm just thrilled that, like, it, you know, there's, Wizards of the Coast keeps doing these wonderful tiebacks where they're, they're sort of, they're, they're giving these nods to players and DMs like myself that have been involved with this hobby for many, many years, a few decades, 
So they're, they're kind of like, they're playing to our joyful memories. And at the same time, I feel like they're also, they're kind of like bringing the game up. They're, they're, they're raising the bar. They're, they're doing things that make the game fun and interesting like all over again. So it's like if you enjoyed it the first time, probably gonna enjoy it the second time around. Now, we already have the GIF in 5e, so this, this little PDF or this kind of, you know, this new addition to, the, you know, the resource library, obviously is not gonna introduce the GIF to us. I'm just thinking it's gonna introduce some other cool stuff. So if that is something that is exciting to you, I gotta say, you, you ought to go check it out right away. Again, I will link in the information on this video, both the article from, uh, from comicsbook.com, comicbooks.com, as well as I will link the direct link to, now I don't get any kickback or anything, I just want you all to know about this, the, the direct link to the DMs Guild so you can go straight to it. So that's what I got for you today. Come back tomorrow for more of this great stuff and I'll see you next time. Check out this video right here. And remember, it's your game, play your way.